Hello and welcome to this tutorial for LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 through 4. In this tutorial we are covering the level 2-2, or Dobby's plan. Uh, as we're covering it in any percent, we are starting from uh, the Immobilis classroom. We just finished the lesson Immobilis, and now we're going to make our way towards Dobby's plan. And first things first, we have a bit of a, a difference in routes here. If you are playing the game with the no cut 5 cheat code enabled, so you can skip cutscenes, then uh, you're just going to walk down through this door, just like normal, like you normally would. If you are playing in the uh, standard version, so you're watching all the cutscenes, then you can do a cutscene skip here. This cutscene skip is very easy to do. All you're going to do Put Ron's pet down, put Scabbers down somewhere around here. You can even do it like over here or somewhere as well. As long as Scabbers is down around the area. And then what you're going to do with Scabbers, just stand in front of the door and then recall. This means instead of watching the cutscene that plays normally, if you go through the door normally, you can make your way on the overworld here. Uh, what the cutscene does is it will... Uh, it will warp you to the bridge, but it actually saves about 30 seconds to do the pet recall and uh, walk this way if you have to watch the whole cutscene. Obviously in no cut, it's not faster because there's more overworld movement. So what we're going to do, if you do do the cutscene skip, which I'll show this time around, is nice and simple. It's some player one movement to make your way over here. And then once you are through this door, player two movement just to get through the last room very simple to do and then this is where the routes both join up so even if you enter the door and skip the cutscene you'll end up back here and again nice and simple because we are going over to the quidditch pitch we don't want to do the bridge warp this time because it's slower instead we once again just take the broom with harry and then we're going to move here with player two uh what you could do here with player one as well is you can also check to see that the pumpkins down by Hagrid's hut, so down where the cursor is, if they are gone, then that means you did it correctly earlier when you were moving on the way to 1-3, and that means you're all good to enter the level as normal. But yeah, so slight difference in route on the overworld, but the movement is very simple, and if you're doing a cutscene skip, it's also very simple to do. In the level itself, this is one of the more complicated levels, so it's going to take a lot to explain. First thing you're going to do is with player 2, just where you're starting, you can immediately press B and you can open this hatch. Then you're only going to move player 1 for a bit. And player 1 is going to come down here, activate Lumos and do a Lumos jump kind of on this white object here. And you should be able to Lumos jump up to the top here. It's quite a difficult one to Lumos jump. There is a backup for it. But, uh... It's better to miss the Lumos jump, like, I think you can even miss it five times or something and still save time over doing the backup strat. And then once you get up to here, shoot Dobby. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an edge jump off the edge going to the right. So we're going to run off the edge to the right and try and just uh, jump as late as possible and then we're going to buffer a jump as well. And you see we made it over that time. Uh, if you fail it, so I intentionally jumped off there. We did make it, but I intentionally jumped off. If you fail it, you can also do a Lumos jump strat. Where you activate Lumos, kind of run over to the edge. And then can Lumos jump over. Uh, this is kind of good as a quick backup. Because when you have your iframes, you uh, you can't run off the edge. Uh, but it is quite tough as well. And when you get next to the edge with Lumos, you aren't able to then uh, use a Lumos jump. Like, when you get near to the edge, you can't actually Lumos jump because the mechanics are a bit different. Once you get down here, though, either way you try and do it, shoot Dobby, and then use Immobilus on the Pixies, and then do these vines. So what happens next is very important. These vines are the triggers for starting a camera pan. So you want to get them started as quickly as possible. Once the camera pan is started, uh, what we're going to do in the very first few, or we have to react to when the camera pan starts, 
and we're going to pause with player two and drop out with player two. So the camera pan starts. You see, because the black line in the middle of the screen is moving, we're then going to drop out player two, and that actually skips the camera pan. This is quite a new thing that's found, but the timing is quite lenient for it, which is quite nice. And then you saw what I did here. Activate Lumos down here. Uh, jump onto one of these boxes, uh, which can be a bit annoying sometimes. But it's, uh, yeah, you've got two chances, basically, because there's two boxes. And then Lumos jump up to the top here. Up the ladder. Dobby is spawned here. If you hit him both times, and then you could raise this. And go into the next room. The next room again is also quite intense. But the first thing to note is you want to switch. Just as before you go into this room. You want to switch to Lumos with Hermione. And also start mashing to drop in player 2. Because then player 2 spawns in immediately as Hagrid. When you are in the room. The first part of this room is a lot to explain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump. And you can shoot Dobby from where Hermione is standing. At the peak of her jump. And then you'll jump up here. And actually with Hermione you're going to run all the way over to this side. Uh, I fell down. But that's fine. Uh, what you will do with player 1. Is player 1 needs to get Ron up to kind of that area. So hopefully Ron will follow. Uh, yeah but Ron needs to come up to this kind of area. You see how the AI is jumping up. We need Ron up there, and when Ron is up there, immediately with player 2, we want to switch to Ron. So I'm going to shoot, Lumos jump up here, switch to a Mobilis with Hermione, and then the moment Ron lands up top, I'm going to switch to Ron. And you see, again, I've paused when a camera pan's just about to start because the line is moving. That's because we're going to drop out player 1. Drop out player 1, like so, and then drop back in immediately. And basically, player one's job now, when player one is down here, is to clear this bridge. Player two's job is to shoot this middle cabinet at the two, and then target Dobby with a Mobilis. Kind of just by shooting Dobby with a Mobilis, you're near guaranteed to hit him, because a Mobilis does have a strong amount of auto-targeting attached to it. Once you have shot Dobby with a Mobilis, move over this way, and there's going to be a third camera pan, which starts there. So you see the camera starting moving. Pause, drop out player 2, that's another camera pan skip. And now I'm mashing to drop back in player 1 while I'm uh, using this barrel. And landing the last hit on Dobby, like so. Uh, with the last hit on Dobby, just there, obviously we didn't skip the cutscene. And we now go into the infirmary. Uh, we need to build this potion, which is just behind Hermione. Building that potion is what ends the level. So what we're going to do with uh, Ron, we want to make sure Ron's on Wingardium Leviosa. And Ron is going to go up, and the first thing he's going to do, lift this bed, and then build the Knight Statue. Like so, and then kind of make his way over here, standing over here, but his target for what he's using Wingardium Leviosa on needs to be on this skeleton head. Player 2, or sorry, Player 1 in the meantime, will switch to Madame Pomfrey. Come down here. Madame Pomfrey automatically has a hood, which means we don't need to open the wardrobe uh, to be able to get earmuffs or anything for handling this mandrake. We could just bring the mandrake over here, like so, and just break that glass. Player 2 is then going to do what's known as a skeleton skip. Skeleton skip is where you use Wingardium Leviosa on the skeleton. And basically what we're aiming for is the the moment the skeleton's head taps into place, Ron is going to make his way to the door. And hopefully you can go through the door as the camera pan, there's a camera pan that plays for the skeleton. If you make it through the door as that camera pan starts, then you'll be able to uh, skip that. And that saves about 15 to 20 seconds. It's a large amount of time save. And so we're going to do that. The moment the skeleton hits, go through the door. And we didn't hear anything, we didn't see the camera shift or anything, so we skipped that camera pan. What we then do next is with Ron, use this broomstick. Broomstick, broom, that's it. Spawn the spider, and then pick up the spider. And then we will pick up the flower with Madame Pomfrey. Put them both in the cauldron, switch to Hermione, pick up the last piece. 
and then put this in to finish the level itself. And that is what there is to the level. It's quite a complicated level. Uh, again, there's especially the first and second room of the level itself are quite complicated, and there's a lot of stuff to remember. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show now what it looks like if you do that a little bit faster. Okay, so doing this again, but doing it a bit faster. Uh, we're going to go through here with Ron. I'm going to show the no-cut version of what happens if you enter this door this time. So entering the door here, and nice and simple, you get walked to the bridge very quickly. That's not a problem at all. And then make your way with Harry over here. Try and avoid hitting those students. Unfortunately, I didn't that time. But Ron will make his way over here. And Harry will finally make his way into the level itself. Once you're in the level itself, again, it's it's quite simple for the first room in terms of what you do with player two. But it's also quite important as well. As you can see, while uh, Hagrid is doing the trapdoor, I can actually switch to Lumos with Hermione to prepare myself for this jump. And we try and get the edge jump here. A little bit too late. This is quite a precise edge jump to do, so I'll try to Lumos jump back up. There we go, and we get the back up, so that's okay. And wait for the camera pan, there it starts. Jump onto the box and then Lumos jump up. And then attach that, start dropping in P2, there we go, P2 dropped in. And then yeah, this is probably the hardest room to 1 P2C now. But that's how quickly you can, uh... That's how quickly you can do the first part of it, if... It goes relatively well. That wasn't perfect, but it was okay. Unfortunately, Hermione took a death and didn't get as far over as I would like. But yeah, that's quite an intense section for 1P2C. But it feels really satisfying to get as well. Especially with both the uh, camera pan skips now. But Ron does have to wait a bit before using the skeleton head. Can use it now though. And then enters in the door and once again we skip that cutscene. So then Ron will just get the spider web here. And leave with Pomfrey. And Hermione's going to actually be in position here before the piece spawns. Which is what happens if you do it really quick. But there we go. We end the level just like that. And yeah, that is that is 2 2. So uh, thank you very much for watching. It's a very short level when you do it uh, quickly, but it's again quite a fun one. Uh, it is difficult though, so it does need practice. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.